All right, well, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is AFAF Tech, and uh, I'm Aaron. I got a bunch of GPUs, and I'm gonna benchmark them all. My original R9 270X from back in the day. We got the other classic uh, GTX 970. And uh, yeah, it's uh, 3.5 gigs of RAM. And then here, modified uh, GTX 1080 uh, G1 Gaming. If you noticed, I might actually kind of like uh, gigabyte cards for some reason. So uh, hey gigabyte, if you're, uh, if you're watching, I like your stuff. The two that aren't present, uh, one, the RTX 2080 is uh, currently in my system. I'd be benching that as the, uh, the high end. And the one card that's missing, I'm going to be borrowing a, uh, an RTX uh, 2070. Uh, Isaiah's from work. Thank you for that. But basically what I'm going to do is do a, uh, what, a 2011, 2012 to 2019. We're going to do some superposition at 1080, and we're going to do four, uh, uh, 4K. And then we're going to do some Fire Strike and some uh, Time Spy. And we'll see how all these cards stack up against each other. It's fairly obvious how it's gonna go, you know, from uh, the bottom to the top. I don't know why I decided to do this. It's so much work. Now, since nothing ever goes to plan, here are the benchmarks for the R9 270X. It scores a 4,424 1080 medium. We get a 1525 for the uh, 4K optimized. We get a uh, 6330 in Firestrike. We also get a uh, 1953 in Time Spy. So uh, yeah, that's the uh, lowest performing card as expected. So I had to do a little bit of troubleshooting because the 970 did not want to uh, cooperate with running with the uh, alongside the 2080. So here's the 2080. Let's prove it. All 9,000 pounds of it. Insert meme. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? But now we're going to run the 970 in uh, superposition at the 1080 medium set. So here we go. It's over 9,000! So there we go, we're at uh, 60 frames a second. The GPU clock is at 1392, memory is at 1751. We're at uh, 53C, we just started, so that's fine. Uh, 1800 megabytes of RAM, we're at 99% uh, GPU usage, and 165 watts. So far, so good. Let's let it roll. What are you doing? You're just sleeping. I don't think she wants to be in the benchmark video today. Put her in there anyways. All right, so our uh, 970 benchmark is done. We scored a 7309. Let's see how it does in 4K. You can tell me I do not have enough RAM. We're gonna run it anyways, because why not? At 4K, the 970, it's a 3350. This is not a 4K card, ladies and gentlemen. 1080 and 1440 is where it's at for this one. And even then, you're still not going to quite get 60 at 1440, depending on the game. Like Witcher? No. So, Fire Strike on the 970. We have a 9667. So, here's our uh, Time Spy bench for the 970. We get a total of 3690. But, anyways, let's move on to the next portion of the video. right here 1080 we're getting uh, 130 120 FPS let's wait for this to complete and uh, then we'll give you some numbers all right medium is done we scored a uh, 14 502 it's not running at its full speed it's not overclocked all the way I'll probably fix that real quick Let's cancel this one. So the card isn't overclocked to what I would 
like it to be at. So I'm going to try to fix that real quick and then uh, rerun the 4K test. I don't think the 1080 test really matters because this isn't a card you would use for 1080. So I don't know what I normally add to it. There we go. 2025. 2025 sounds a little better to me. 1900. That's good. All right. Here we go. Starting off at 60 FPS, 4K. So here we go at the uh, 4K optimized. We have a score of 6838. It's kind of boring after the 90th time you've seen it. CPU test showing uh, the age of the CPU. 30 frames a second. It's really boring. So right there, 14,958. 58. 58. 1080 times by scores a 6325. Not bad. So after over an hour of uh, benchmarking and loading footage onto the computer here, who finally decided to join me? You want to join me? You want to help? You want to help me? Now, while being a triple slot card, much higher cooling capacity, Founders Edition 2080 still weighs more. So thanks to uh, Isaiah for allowing me to borrow his uh, EVGA 2070. This thing's, this thing's a beast. My problem is I've been putting all the cards in the second slot. I obviously can't uh, do that with sound card. It's going uh, in place of the 2080. All right, well, after uh, three weeks, I think, something like that. It's taken a while to get this video uh, done. <clears throat> My f***ing microphone is not on. Take two, I guess. It's been about three weeks trying to get this video done. Um, I've given back the 2070 because it's not mine and can't keep it. So I'm going to tell you what, uh, what kind of scores we got. Now, the, the 2070 is, is essentially a more powerful 1080. The 2070 scores a 16331 in uh, medium on super precision. Not bad. Beats the 1080. 7259 in the 4K. Again, beating the, uh, the 1080. We've got a 16226 in Fire Strike. So that's, that's pretty good. We scored a uh, 7910 in Time Spy. Uh, notoriously difficult benchmark. Um, everything was at 1440, so everything, literally every card, scales up almost exactly how you would imagine. So that's that's a 2070. It, um, it's a very good card. You know, in terms of 1080 versus 2070, um, definitely go with the 2070 because you know you get ray tracing. Uh, you do get that performance bump. But moving on to the uh, the 2080. Now. I would not, at this time, recommend for anybody to actually buy one, unless you can find it for cheap. Um, it is essentially a 1080 Ti, uh, uses about the same amount of power, you do get the ray tracing involved with that, so that's the plus side of it, if you really want that, which, now that I've seen it with like Metro, even though Metro severely, severely uh, disappointed me. I don't know what happened with that game, but uh, yeah. It's just a ray tracing demo. Kind of like how Rage was just a tech demo. Yeah, I got about half the game that uh, they said you know, they were going to deliver. Anyways, digression. Uh, we scored 18,466 in the medium. So, defeats the 2070 by about 2,000 points. We got a 9505 for the 4K. Uh, that defeats, again, by nearly uh, two to 3,000 points. So, it's pretty good. We got a 17.454 for Fire Strike, and then we get a 88.58 for the um, for Time Spy. Now, I think all my scores with those are held back by the CPU benchmark. Imagine if I reran them. I don't know how that works. Uh, never mind. Uh, but anyways, that's essentially this video. Uh, it was kind of difficult to get all the cards together in this vicinity to actually test them. 
Uh, I do plan on doing more kind of benchmark things like that in the future. I do have the Patreon thing. Nobody's donated yet. I'm not holding anybody to it. If anybody were to want to uh, donate to the Patreon, it would help out essentially purchasing you know, GPUs, CPUs, motherboards, stuff to do other projects like the uh, the C70, which I have a very good plan for the C70. I canceled my my uh, previous plans, and uh, I got a better idea. So with that being said, you know, like and subscribe, hit the bell, leave comments, tell me what I did wrong, what I did right, what you liked, what you didn't like. Still working on trying to get more subscribers, so if you could help spread the word, that would be greatly appreciated, because uh, by the time LTX 2020 rolls around, this is my can of money that I'm going to be uh, loading up over the next few months. So once it comes around, make the drive again, it's going to be awesome. So uh, yeah, see you in the next video.